As humans, we can on average expect to live for around 73 years, with the maximum age believed to be around 120. But we are far from being the longest living animals on the planet. There are some animals still living today that were born many centuries ago. Stay tuned as we take a look at 15 animals with the longest lifespans. Number 15. Bowhead Whale Bowhead whales, which are also known as Arctic whales, are the only species of baleen whale that are native to the waters in the Arctic and the subarctic regions. Named for their huge triangular skulls, which they use to help break through sea ice, they actually have the largest mouths of any animals, which can measure up to 14 feet across and represent up to a third of their total body size. The longest bowhead whale on record was 59 feet from the tip of their head to the base of their tail, but there have been a number of specimens over the past few centuries that have been claimed to be much larger than this. Unfortunately, however, they were one of the first whale species to be regularly hunted, so their populations dropped to such a level that only the juveniles were left. One of the things that made this impact worse is the almost unbelievably long life cycles of these creatures. Thought to be the longest living mammals, they often live to an age of around 200 years and will continue to grow throughout their entire lives. This means that if the claims of bowhead whales measuring up to 80 feet were true, this species could live for far longer than is currently thought. Only time will tell, though, because their numbers were depleted in such a way that it'll take at least a century for them to recover. Number 14, Tuatara. Tuatara are a type of reptile that's native to New Zealand, and while they may look very similar to lizards, actually exist in a biological classification of their own. The name is a Maori word, which translates to mean peak on the back, and they share a very similar feature with their ancestors that first emerged around 250 million years ago. Growing up to 31 inches or about 80 centimeters long and weighing up to 2.9 pounds, they have spiny crests along their back and have an unusual mouth structure, whereby they have two rows of teeth on the upper jaw that overlap a single row of teeth on the lower jaw. Tuataras have the slowest rate of growth of any type of reptile, taking as long as 20 years to reach sexual maturity. They also have the second longest reptilian lifespans, which is believed to be related to the presence of certain genes that provide protection against reactive oxygen species. In the wild, they're thought to live up to 60 years old, but in captivity, they've survived much longer than that, with some researchers believing they could easily live for as long as 200 years. Interestingly, they remain sexually active throughout their entire adult lives, and there was a breeding pair in a New Zealand zoo that laid eggs in 2009, despite the female being at least 80 years old and the male being at least 110. Number 13, African Bush Elephant. African bush elephants are the largest land animals in the world, growing to around 13 feet to the shoulder and weighing a whopping 11 tons. Native to regions across 37 different countries in Africa, they used to live in huge herds across the forests, grasslands, and woodlands, but are now critically endangered because of habitat loss and poaching. They are highly social animals that form a tight-knit family group, and when they're left uninterrupted to form herds, their numbers will be made up of individuals across several generations. In the wild, an African bush elephant's lifespan is expected to be around 70 to 75 years, which is an extremely long time for such a large creature. From an evolutionary perspective, this means that an adult has to consume a huge amount of food and overcome minuscule odds of survival, are able to have far more chances to procreate and pass on their genes that have allowed them to reach this age. Amazingly though, once an elephant has reached maturity at around the age of 15, they are considered to be invulnerable to predation because of their size and strength. In the wild, predators like lions and hyenas will try their chances with young elephants, but there's a point at which they'll back off because it's more than likely that they'll be the ones that come off worse from an encounter. Number 12, Longfin Eel. The longfin eel is a freshwater species that's only found in New Zealand and is the largest one found in the country. Growing up to 61 inches long, they have a unique life cycle that sees them growing and maturing into adults in fresh water before migrating to a site in the Pacific Ocean near Tonga to breed towards the ends of their lives. As such a large species, the diet of the longfin eel is varied. Technically omnivorous, they'll take advantage of plant material that falls into the water, but will also hunt insects, small fish, and even waterfowl if the opportunity presents itself. 
they are the slowest growing species of eel, adding just an inch or about three centimeters per year, and have been found in some cases to be as old as 106 years before leaving their freshwater lakes for the open ocean. Once they reach their breeding grounds, they mate and produce a clutch of eggs before dying, and the eggs will then float in the currents for up to 15 months, which eventually return them to New Zealand, so the whole process can start once again. Number 11, macaw. Macaws are a species of parrot that are native to Central and South America, as well as Mexico, and across these regions there are at least 19 different distinctive species. Known for being one of the most vibrantly colored bird species in the world, they're more commonly seen in rainforests, but will also live in woodland or savanna areas. They can be distinguished from other parrot species by the way their beaks and tails are much larger in proportion to the rest of their bodies, and they also have light-colored patches on their faces that aren't present in others. After years of hunting and habitat destruction, most species of macaw are now sadly either extinct or considered to be at high risk, and there are now many more in captivity around the world than there are in the wild. In their natural environment, the birds have a life expectancy of around 50 years, but this can become much longer if they've been kept as pets. Some individuals have been known to easily outlive their owners with a lifespan of up to 100 years, meaning if you ever plan on getting one to become part of your family, it's definitely a lifelong commitment. Number 10, Rough-Eye Rockfish. Also known as the Blackthroat Rockfish or the Black Tip Rockfish, the Rough-Eye Rockfish is a species that's native to the North Pacific in deep water where the temperature hovers around the freezing point. Growing to around 38 inches long, the heaviest on record weighed almost 15 pounds. And the heavier they are, the deeper they tend to live. They get their name because of a series of around 10 spines that form on their lower eyelids. They develop a pink, tan, or brownish color with noticeable darker patches all over their bodies. During most of the year, they're solitary fish that scour the seabed in search of shrimps, crabs, and fish. But during breeding season, they'll form shoals to make it easier to find a mate. Because they live in such a cold environment, they take a long time to grow and reach sexual maturity, and this is believed to be the reason why they're also one of the longest living species of fish that's known. The oldest rough-eye rockfish ever discovered was thought to have been swimming in the ocean for at least 205 years, but there's no reason why this should be the upper end of their age limit. Some researchers have suggested that their true maximum lifespan could be between three and 400 years, with the older ones being particularly elusive and rare to encounter. Number nine, glass sponge. Even though they may not look like animals at first, glass sponges are indeed alive, and they're some of the longest living creatures on Earth. Typically found at depths of between 1,400 and 2,900 feet, they're present in all of the oceans around the world and are often seen as part of larger colonies. They're usually between 4 and 12 inches in height and develop a cup shape with an internal skeleton made of silica, which essentially means they are made of glass. Some will grow much larger, however, and this is used as a gauge of how old they are. So those that are around 3 feet or a meter long, for example, are estimated to be up to 200 years old but it's just the beginning of how long they can thrive for. It's relatively difficult to analyze and date their age, but one specimen that was studied by a modeling technique was estimated to be up to 15,000 years old. With ocean conditions having changed so much in that time frame, it's also quite possible that it was significantly older than that, and researchers think it's highly likely that there are other individuals in deeper regions of water that could have easily lived for several times that. Number eight. Ocean Quahog Native to the North Atlantic Ocean, the ocean quahog is a species of edible clam that's harvested in a number of places as a food source. Their life cycles are similar to those of other clams, where they spend their lifetime filtering water that's flowing by to collect the needed nutrients. But the combination of their particular physiology and the fact they often live in cold water means that they develop much slower than other species. In most regions, ocean quahogs will only grow during the summer months when it's slightly warmer. This means they can take as long as six years to reach sexual maturity, which is significantly longer than any other closely related animals. This result of slow development, however, is that they also tend to live far longer, and the species is one of the longest living animals that can be proved by human observation. That's because in a similar way to trees, ocean quahogs develop annual growth lines on their shells, so it's simply a case of counting these to work out how old they are. The current record is held by an ocean quahog that has become known as Ming the Clam and was caught off the coast of Iceland in 2006. 
it was found to be an astonishing 507 years old, which means it had been born during the Ming Dynasty of China. Unfortunately, though, before the rings were counted, the clam was killed, because at the time the researchers weren't aware that it was so old, and claimed they would have made attempts to save it had they known how significant a find it was. Number 7. Red Sea Urchin if there's one thing divers probably don't want to see as they're exploring a reef, then it's a sea urchin. Precariously poking their spines out of cracks and crevices, or sometimes simply sat out in the open, they have the potential to cause serious damage if you were to ever tread on one. But the chances are that any fully grown ones you see probably have been around for far, far longer than you have. Red sea urchins, for example, are found throughout the northeastern Pacific Ocean, along the shoreline between Alaska and the state of Baja California in Mexico. Living in shallow and deep waters, they're covered in sharp spines, but between these there are a series of tube feet that allow them to move across the ocean floor and secure themselves in place. Mainly feeding on seaweed or algae, these spines are simply a defensive measure to prevent larger fish from attempting to eat them, and they're able to regenerate their spines if they ever lose them. This is undoubtedly a useful ability, because their lifespan usually exceeds 30 years, with some individuals having been found that were at least 200 years old. Researchers think the true maximum age of a red sea urchin could be much, much more than this, and expect it could be anywhere up to 500 years in the right conditions. Number 6. Tube Worms Tube worms are marine invertebrates that are found growing on the floor of virtually every ocean around the world each of which feeds on different nutrients depending on where they are and can be a wide range of colors, shapes, and sizes. Giant tube worms, for example, thrive in the hydrothermal vents of the Pacific Ocean, where they sift the water for the chemicals released by the smokers. Able to tolerate high concentrations of hydrogen sulfide, they can grow to around 10 feet long and survive in some of the most hostile conditions on Earth. They have the fastest rate of growth of any known species of marine invertebrate, with the ability to reach a length of 5 feet in just 2 years. But surprisingly, despite living in a warmer environment and having a relatively fast metabolism, they're also believed to live for several centuries too. Other tube worm species that live in much colder waters also have a similar lifespan as well, meaning a significant proportion of the ones you see on the ocean floor have probably been around since before the First World War. Number 5. Galapagos Giant Tortoise Possibly the most famous of long-living species and holding the record as having the highest life expectancy of any type of reptile, the Galapagos giant tortoise is also the largest species of living tortoise currently alive. When Spanish explorers first visited the islands in the 16th century, the tortoises were present in such numbers that they named them in honor with the word Galapago being the Spanish for tortoise, and the animals are native to seven of the islands in the archipelago. Depending on the exact island that they live on, their sizes can vary drastically, but the species tends to grow on average to around 6.1 feet long and can weigh as much as 880 pounds. This has not only made them curiosities, but also highly sought after, historically, for their meat and their shells, and the estimated population of around 250,000 of them in the 16th century had fallen to around 15,000 by the 1970s. With no natural predators, this is all the result of human activity, and is believed to have been the same case with other giant tortoise species that used to exist elsewhere around the world. The other thing that affects their numbers is their extremely long lifespan, with some individuals known to have lived to at least 175 years old. This means, though, that they reach sexual maturity much later in life, so it will be a few decades before all of the remaining tortoises are even able to breed and try to increase their overall numbers. Number 4. Japanese Koi Koi are incredibly popular fish that are kept as pets across Japan and the rest of the world. They're a species of carp, which takes on various different colors and can all be traced back to breeding in Niigata, Japan, in the early 1800s. Colors can include elements of white, black, red, orange, yellow, blue, brown, and cream, and there are more than 100 different official varieties that are split across 16 different categories. They're omnivorous animals, so will eat plant life and insects, and are surprisingly hardy, despite their ornamental appearance, and can survive in cold water throughout the often harsh Japanese winters. The main dangers that koi face are from predation, because the colors they've been bred to have hardly make it easy for them to avoid the prying eye of potential predators. 
but if an owner keeps them in a well-protected pond, then they'll go on to live long and healthy lives. If you buy a newborn koi, however, it's quite likely that it will outlive you. They have regularly been known to live for longer than 100 years, and on occasion to 200 years, with the current record being held by a famous scarlet koi called Hanako, which was found to be 226 years old after a study of its growth rings. Number 3. Elkhorn Coral If you've ever been swimming around the reefs of the Caribbean, the chances are you've probably seen elkhorn coral. It's a highly important species that's one of the cornerstones of reef development and grows complex branches that often look just like elkhorns. One of the reasons why it's so useful is that it grows relatively fast, with the ability to add as much as 4 inches or 10 centimeters of growth per year, and it was one of the dominant species in the Caribbean. Unfortunately, in recent years, population numbers of elkhorn coral have drastically fallen, with around 97% of them believed to have been lost as a result of the changing environment. Despite their fast growth rate, which would suggest they should be able to recover in a fairly short period of time, it's their long-lasting nature that has been instrumental to the stability of reefs, and this has, in most cases, been fully lost. Elkhorn coral normally reach its full size at around 12 years, but colonies are the longest surviving creatures in the habitat, often remaining in one place for a number of centuries. It's these oldest ones that are able to regrow and repair themselves the fastest, but the recent decline has seen most of these die off. Even if we were able to replace them with new coral now, it would take many decades for them to establish themselves in the same way as the ones that have been lost. And this is why efforts are underway to protect those that remain and encourage new ones to grow as soon as possible. Number 2. Greenland Shark Of the more than 500 species of shark around the world, there's one that remains mysterious despite being one of the largest and long-living. The Greenland Shark, which is also known as the Gurry Shark, lives in the waters of the North Atlantic and the Arctic Ocean and is a generalist feeder that will consume virtually anything that it finds in the cold depths. Growing up to 24 feet long and weighing as much as 3,100 pounds, they may well be the largest known sharks, but they're also the slowest swimming of all fish, with a top speed of around three quarters of a mile per hour. This is likely the result of a cold environment that they live in, and they need to save as much energy as possible, but also because of their slow metabolisms that have enabled them to become the longest living of any vertebrate species. It's believed that the typical life expectancy of a Greenland shark is between 250 and 500 years, and more surprising is that they're only thought to reach sexual maturity at the age of 150. This means this species is far more susceptible than most to population decline because it takes so long for them to be able to reproduce. So they're classed as a protected species to hopefully prevent human activity from sending them to the brink of extinction. Number 1. Jellyfish What we think of as a jellyfish is normally the second stage of the animal's lives, called the medusa stage, when they look like inflated balloons with tentacles hanging off of them but their life cycles are far more complicated. At first, they start as cigar-shaped larvae that float suspended in the water and eventually attach themselves to a rock or solid object that they come into contact with. Next, they turn into a polyp, which looks similar to a sea anemone, and begin to replicate themselves to turn into a large colony. After this, when the conditions are right, baby jellyfish will emerge from the polyps and will go on to grow into adults as they float through the oceans but this isn't necessarily the end of it. There are some species that will reach the end of their lives as a jelly, and instead of decomposing like any other animal on Earth, it will instead sink to the ocean floor, and their bodies will turn into polyps, from which new jellyfish will eventually emerge. Upon their death, they revert back to an earlier stage in life, and this process keeps on going, meaning each individual jellyfish is essentially immortal. Because of this process of renewal, it's impossible to tell how old one is and how long it's been going through these cycles. But with the species first seen in the fossil record from millions of years ago, it's quite possible that the ones in the oceans today are actually the same ones that were around back then as well. Watch our Animals playlist for more Top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.